Hi, welcome to another ESP32 tutorial by Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use the capacitive touch feature or capacitive touch pens of ESP32. So when we touch those pens, some device like LED will be turned on and off, and I'm going to connect a relay so we can turn on and off an AC bulb. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Capacitive touch is a uh, method to detect touch in many applications uh, via a metallic surface. So we need a metal, but even though in this case, even if there is a wire you will see the capacitive will affect it and that's why we have to set some kind of sensitivity or threshold depending on a person for example if the person's skin is very moist you will need very less sensitivity because the body is very active and as soon as you touch it will detect higher value but if somebody's skin is very dry there will be a different value that can cause a trigger so we have to set the sensitivity because of this reason and in ESP32, we have 10 capacitive touch inputs that can be utilized for the purpose of touch. And for each, you can independently set different values uh, for the sensitivity. In this example, we are going to use only one of them. That will be enough so you can understand and use the, the rest. This ESP32 Wi-Fi Bluetooth microcontroller module has 10 capacitive touches at different pins. So we can use it to uh, turn on and off something with a touch. Sometimes you will see two wires or two plates when you touch you are actually uh, creating connection via your body so they will detect the touch. That is directly without any capacitor but this is capacitive touch. Here I have created this pin out from the data sheet. Uh, this side is the USB and that is the, sh the main ESP32 chip and we have 10 pins and they are labeled or called T0 up to T9 and 4 on this side, 6 on the other side and doesn't matter if they put 14 on this side so it will be 5 you are, for you matters these numbers uh, and inside the code we will use T0, T1, T2 which I'm going to show you so you have to know that if you want to use for example T13 you have to connect your wire at pin 15 and if you want to connect your wire to 33 then it will be T8 let me explain the wiring first let me explain this LED we have two wires connected one wire this will be connected to the ground this gray this white will be connected to pin 23 at this point and we have here one kilo ohm resistor you can put any resistor between 200 ohm to one kilo ohm the larger the value of this resistor the uh, lower the br brightness of this led so you do not put higher than one kilo ohm because you will not be able to see it the this pen is connected to the resistor and the other side of the resistor is connected to one pen of this led where there is nothing else connected the pin that is here on this side is anode, this is longer pin and that is cathode. Anode is positive so we are connecting it and here the positive comes here to the anode and from cathode. Also on the cathode you see there is a flat side is connected to this pin and this is connected to ground. The gray is connected to the ground and then this white pen which is positive will be connected to pen 23. We want to connect the relay. This is the relay that can be activated with 3.3 volts. Even the relay is 5 volts but the circuitry can accept 3.3 volts and this has multiple pens here labeled. That's a 5 volts pen. We are connecting it to 5 volts using this blue and then we have ground, ground is connected using green so green is connected to the ground this blue 
5 volts is connected to 5 volts that is my 5 volts Vn or V5 if you're using a module with 15 by 15 pins that is Vn this is 5 volts pin V1 is the pin that is turning on and off the, re the relay I have put here yellow wire and this is connected to pin 23 and for touch in this case we are using pin 14 this is a pin 14 here I'm putting this wire here so we can touch the tip of this wire and this is our touch point you can put a plate a coin or something if you can solder to it that will be also your touch pin this is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off so I will be connecting these two to the relay and here the two wires from my AC bulb is connected to the pen on this side normally open and a common now let me explain the code we are defining a variable called touch pen in this case we are defining it as T6 touch 6 I've put them here when we say T6 we are connecting it to pen 14 and these are all the other pens pen is an integer of type constant that and it cannot change during the execution of code and we are defining a relay pen this can be an LED or whatever you want to connect I call it relay and we are using pen 23 for that purpose this is also integer and constant and this uh, variable is sensitivity I'm going to show you next bring it with 50 call it sensitivity this is also integer and constant using a setup we define a pin for relay when the touch is detected we can do something like turning an AC or DC or light or the device on and off so we, we use pen mode and relay pin this is pin 23 as an output and then we define the serial monitor to display the text the value for us 100 15,200 and then give one second and then we are using serial print to print this text and then this line will print this text and then we print one wait one second and then print two and then three and then we print this so this is like a counter one two three and the setup is ended inside the touch pen we use touch read and then we put the pen in this case above we used t6 so this reads the pen value and stores it in an integer called touch value and then we print this text using serial print value this is it because it's inside quotation this is the actual text and touch value is this value whatever we have read from this pen this is printed on the screen what ln this ln means it creates a new line at the end these two will be displayed in one line this line says if touch value which is this smaller or equal the sensitivity if touch value is smaller than this then we print this on the screen touched as a text and then using digital write relay pen like pen 23 as high so we are turning on a relay this else mean if the touch value is not smaller than sensitivity then using else we turn the relay pen low so it is kept kept low and then we wait 300 milliseconds and the loop will continuously checking the pen and taking this action This is a demonstration with LED. The pen is connected, the touch pen to pen 14, and the value is reading 96 or less or more. Now, if I hold it from outside, it goes to 80, as you can see. So, this number is changing depending on how much capacitive uh, value is added to it. Bring my fingers a lot, the number will increase, and if I remove it, it is 99. 
and if I remove the pen totally you see that it is 121 that's why we set our value to 50 making sure that it works as desired now if I touch this the LED is turned on remove turn off and as you can see the value is 1516 and if I hold it very tight you see it becomes even 8 so the LED is turned on when the value is 50 or lower Now let's try a different pen. We have connected it to pen 14. So let's connect it to touch 0 which is pen 4. I'm changing it to pen T0, uploading it. So this is pen 4. I've connected it now to pen 4. Now if I touch it, you see that any value below 50 will turn this on, off. And you can have multiple pens assigned and turned on and off. Now the AC is connected, this bulb is ready to be turned on and off. And this is my touch pen. As you can see, currently it shows 83. When I touch this, you can see that the value is around 20 and the light was on and it then changed. You can see that there is 24 or something. If you have dry skin, make sure to change the number so the light can be turned on and off. Thank you for watching. This was how to use the capacitive touch feature of ESP32, microcontroller, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth module. If you learned something and found it useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And if you subscribe, you will get updates of my upcoming videos.